Welcome to Taking Care of Anger. This is the third video in a series about emotions and mindfulness made especially for you in connection with the County of San Luis Obispo Public Libraries. Hi, my name is Dita Joya. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to be talking about an emotion that we all experience, anger. Now, if you were with me on my first video when we talked about the zones, then you'll know what I mean when I say anger can start out in the yellow zone and then it can quickly rise to the red zone if we don't learn how to take care of our anger. I want you to know that it's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel angry. All emotions are okay to feel. It's just, it's what comes up inside of us, but it's what we do when we're angry that might not be okay in that situation. So the interesting thing about anger is that it's trying to protect or hide some other thoughts or feelings that are underneath that anger. For example, what are you feeling or thinking when there's something you really want but can't have? Or when you want to turn and someone says no? Or when there's something you really, really want to do or someplace you really, really want to go? And someone says no. What are you feeling or thinking when you're playing a game and you lose, or you were in a competition and you didn't win first place? Or when something feels unfair? Or when schoolwork feels really hard? Or when someone is unkind and does something hurtful? Have you ever noticed what happens inside your body when you're angry? that thumping heartbeat, right? You already get hot and sweaty, or maybe your breathing is kind of shallow and tight, and even your muscles get tight somewhere, maybe in your hands, maybe in your, in this area, or in your neck, or in your face muscles. And that same part of the brain that we talked about in our last video on worry is the same place where anger gets activated, and that's in the amygdala. And the tricky thing about anger is it can grow really big, really fast and explode like that volcano. And when I say explode like the volcano, that's when we do the things like where we um, lose control and we might start yelling or screaming or saying, you know, things that we might later regret or we might throw things, break things, or try to hurt somebody or we might have a tantrum, or we might just break down and cry really, really hard. Now, green zone, remember, is when you're in control. You're feeling calm and know how to use your strategies to stay calm and in the green zone. But it's not easy when things make us angry. And so sometimes our energy rises up into the yellow zone and we may begin to lose control. Maybe we can still use our strategies, or maybe a grown-up might help remind us to use our strategies. And if that doesn't work, then that's when we rise up into the red zone, and we may end up exploding like a volcano. And that's when your grown-up is probably going to tell you to stop whatever you're doing, maybe have a you know some time out to chill out to get back to the green zone. So let's practice some ways to get back into the green zone by moving that rising energy and bringing it back down, 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 like you're riding a parachute down. There's lots of great ways to take care of anger in a safe and positive and even fun way that won't hurt others or yourself. And when you get your feet back on the ground, you'll be able to reflect on what it was that was hiding underneath the anger that you were trying to protect. Okay, so are you ready? We're going to do a series of movement kinds of things. So you're going to have to stand up and get ready to practice with me. We're going to take some, uh, a few different activities and we're going to start out really high energy and then we're going to bring it down, 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 down into stillness. Okay, so we're going to feel the opposite, almost like feeling like red zone down to the, to the green zone. So here we go. Are you ready? We're going to have a little fun. All right, so this one is called earthquake. And it's almost like you are the mountain. So go ahead and put your feet just a little bit um, apart. 
um, just a little bit wider than your shoulders. You can't see mine, but you can see my legs are up. Now, it's not super big because that's not gonna work for this activity. So you just want to have that strong base. Here you are, you're the mountain. And all of a sudden your mountain, your volcanic mountain, starting to shake. There's an earthquake. So go ahead and shake. And then shake really hard. Really hard. And if you want, you can do one arm. Shake it, 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 shake it,
Finding back to your, your base place where you started out. Let go, let your arms drop, float down. called tense. We're going to squeeze. So we're going to squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. So this we'll start out with our hands. Release. float down by your side. Shake them out a little bit. Tiny earthquake. Let them relax. Good. And for just a few more moments, imagine that you're laying in a field of green grass, taking in some breaths, slowly breathing in through your nose, slowly out through your mouth, breathing in slowly through your nose, and out slowly through your mouth, breathing in, breathing out, do a few more on your own. Good. Hopefully you're feeling in the green zone now. That's how you take care of your anger. I'm so grateful you watched this video. I hope you learned something helpful. I'll be sharing more ways to practice mindfulness in additional videos through the County of San Luis Obispo Public Library's website. So be on the watch for those. And I'll also post these and additional resources, including classes, on my website, mindfulkindfuluniversity.com. But remember, a mindful, kindful, peaceful world begins within each one of us. So keep practicing, and I hope to see you real soon.